back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do something super fun. It's a how to style flares video. So I don't know if you guys are noticing, but flares are back in style. And at first I didn't know how to feel about it, but I am loving the idea. So I'm going to show you how to style flares. This video is sponsored by Nasty Gal. Everything I show you will be linked down in the description box below. So be sure to check there before you leave. And without further ado, let's begin. All right, so Nasty Gal has a bunch of flare styles from denim to just black ones like these. So again, I will link a bunch that I love. I love the one I have on right now. This is actually a set, um, but they sell them as separates as well. But I just really liked how this crop top, kind of like a bra top came with it um, because I just wanted to show you that you can easily wear it for some type of like more formal outing, like a dinner. And I just threw on this blazer over the top. I love the all black look. Look. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm just really liking the flare trend coming back. Um, I remember I used to always use flares back in the day and I thought they were so flattering. They're just so fun to wear. They could go with everything. You'll just love it. I know there's a lot of people that aren't loving the idea of it, but I think you just need to try it and I'm pretty sure you just might fall in love. So this is what the back of the pants looks like. So this is just like a stretchy material and the perks of it is that it's going to be super, super comfortable. And another perk is that you'll be able to wear these two with other things in your closet. You don't have to wear them together. Um, so these are the flare pants that I'm actually going to use to style the rest of the outfits. So it's black, but obviously you don't have to go with a black pair. You could go with a denim pair, a white pair, what have you. It's all about the idea and putting things together in a similar way. So to finish off the look, I just took my little clutch bag right here in this brown color just to kind of break up the black a little bit. And then it kind of just blends with my jewelry, just some gold chains right here. And that is look number one. And this is good, like I said, for like a dinner, something fun to go out in and I really like it. All right, so look number two is very retro, very like I feel 70s inspired, but I love how it turned out. Um, so this is a nasty gal top. It's like a handkerchief top, but it is in a denim material. And then the back just looks like this and it has like a zipper, which is nice because you're not having to tie it. It's actually more secure, I feel like, because of the zip. Um, and basically I took just another scarf from my closet and put it on my head. And then these sunglasses are from Nasty Gal as well. I love the shape. I love how it's oversized. I still never got away from the oversized look. Um, I think it's always gonna be in style and I just think it all goes really well together. Then of course, keeping the same pants. And then I just threw on some mules in this like brown color to kind of blend everything together. But this is what the back looks like. Again, added this clutch um, because I feel like, again, the colors blend together. Um, so I got a size zero or extra small. I always forget which sizing um, they go by. And then these pants are also a size zero. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just like kind of in love with this look. What do you guys think? I know this may not seem like your cup of tea, maybe, but also maybe it is, but also maybe you want to try a new trend. So I'm really liking all the new stuff that's on Nasty Gal right now and just getting creative. All right, here is look number three. So this one is just pretty versatile. You can use it for a lot of different occasions and things like that. Um, I would wear this to brunch, going out at night with the girls, and there's a couple different ways you can wear it. So this is a bodysuit. It's actually a really nice material. It's like a ribbed material, but it's a little bit thicker. Um, so I don't know if you can tell up close what it looks like. And then obviously the same pants for the bodysuit. I got a size zero and it does come in other colors. And I'm really, really into the one shoulder lately. If you guys have been noticing, the one shoulder is very popular. Um, I've always loved it and I just think it's really cute. I think that with the different shapes, I just showed you like the triangular handkerchief shape with the flares, it just goes really, really well. And it just like brings different proportions, which is fun. Um, and then I just have these sunglasses on my head, which make it a little more like <laughs> fabulous and bougie looking. Um, but I wanted to see what it would look like adding a belt. I think if you wanted to break up this outfit a little bit, a belt would be nice. So this is what it looks like with a belt. Um, sometimes you may feel like it just needs a little more accessorizing um, since it's very basic items, but like very nice and chic. But then again, like this belt just kind of jazzes it up a little bit, makes it really fun. 
so I feel like that completely changed the look it made it a little more nighttime and a little more like put together in a way so I really like how adding the belt turned out and then I kept my necklaces the gold of the belt just kind of flows and then Nasty Gal usually always has really good chunky thick belts as well so I will link some from there and I'll link other um, one shoulder tops from there as well because I feel like you could go and do so many different colors with this outfit and make different variations it almost kind of ends up looking like a jumpsuit in a way but I really love this outfit as well all right this next outfit is another versatile one that you could use for so many different occasions and excuse me I keep pulling down the crop top just because um, I probably need to size up more but you know since I'm still nursing my bra is a little bit larger than it used to be <laughs> and so it kind of keeps writing up so if you're kind of in the same situation I would size up other Otherwise, I probably don't even need to wear this with the bra and I wouldn't have that issue um, so I wanted to show you how to wear flares with a crop top so here is a crop top in just a plain black and I love the shape and structure just a simple little crew neck and the material I really like I mentioned how I really like that bodysuit material so it's the same material on this so it's like a ribbed kind of cottony material and very stretchy but also it just feels really, really nice. And then the same pants um, to just like accessorize and make it even cuter. I just put on this little hat right here and it matched this clutch bag really well. And I just like how this outfit goes together. This is like the perfect date night outfit. A lot of people always ask me for like comfort concert outfit ideas. Um, and I feel like this is a really good one could also wear boots underneath these pants if you wanted to um but yeah i'm really really loving these look but do you see how many cute looks i was able to um achieve just so far with these flare pants and they're just so cute all right so this next outfit is a little more formal this is something that i feel like you could wear I don't know, with your family, um, even to church, things like that. You get the picture. Um, even to work, honestly, you could just like wear this to work. Uh, so this top is like a little floral top, has buttons all in the middle, slightly, slightly, slightly puff shoulders, but it has this really cute like flower print right here. And then you can also wear this with other things in your closet to dress it down. And then you could totally transform this look by adding a hat. So right here is what it would look like if you added some sort of hat similar to this. And I feel like it changes it up. Um, I don't know where you could wear this to, but I think it's really, really cute. You could wear it wine tasting maybe, or to like a country music concert maybe. I don't know, maybe it's a little too formal, but um, still cute nonetheless. Our next up we have a summer vibe so this one is definitely a little more daytime um, or midday whatever happy hour um, but I just paired the pants with this really cute like semi cropped like aqua blue blouse so super cute it's like ruched all over here and then the sleeves are just kind of see-through and transparent and it gives really nice texture it's just nice to look at everything from the color to just the material. Um, and then this one I got in size zero. And with this outfit, again, I paired this hat, just kind of brighten it up a little bit more. And then I added some shoes that I got from Nasty Gal. They're so cute. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is what it looks like. I will try to find a picture and put it somewhere on the screen. But basically they are just some lace up little white heels right here which if you've been following me you guys know how much i love white shoes white boots white sandals white heels everything white i feel like you can wear them with almost anything and for the summer it is a must that you have different pairs of white shoes in my opinion for this to make it more summery i just added this like raffia straw bag but I was like torn between doing a white bag to match the hat. But I think either way, it looks really, really nice. And yeah, don't sleep on Nasty Gal like sandals and heels too because they have really, really good ones just like the one I showed you and they're all very inexpensive. And this one has like the cutest little heel detail that's like been really popular lately. So the shoes do run true to size. I'm gonna show you one more shoe also that I got um, from Nasty Gal that is also really, really Really trending so these heels also look really nice with this outfit and it's nice because it's just like a slip-on type of mule and the heel is 
not that high, but it's just very, very comfortable. So this part right here fits really nice and it also kind of stretches out a little bit. And then the texture of this part is just really cute. Um, so you can use it with dresses and shorts, outfits like I am wearing right now. And both of the shoes fit true to size. Not sure if I mentioned that, but very, very cute. All right, so this next outfit, I just threw back on the little bralette or crop top. And then I just threw on this classic white button down shirt over it for kind of more of like a free classic yet freestyle look. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Um, this is just one way to wear this. Obviously this shirt is just one of the most timeless shirts of all shirts. So you can wear it so many different ways. You could wear it like buttoned up and tucked in for work. You could wear it tied up just like this with these pants and they still look really, really adorable. So just like that. So there you go. That's one other look you could do. I mean, this shirt is just something you need in your closet. Um, so even if you didn't want to use this shirt with this outfit, you could definitely use it as like a swimsuit cover up, wear it with a skirt, what have you. Um, but I just liked the look of this, how like it's just very effortless. So this one I did get size zero, it is more oversized. And then here is what it would look like if you did want to wear it more of like a shirt uh, tucked in. So a bunch of different looks, a bunch of different ways you can wear. All right, and then last but not least, here is a more casual flare look that I think is so fun. So I've been seeing these glasses trending kind of all over Instagram. Um, so these just have like a yellow lens and it's like your kind of aviator style. And this is just such a 70s vibe again. And it reminds me of like Woodstock, um, probably because of the shirt, but basically you can take a graphic tee, any graphic tee. This one I really like. This one is from Nasty Gal. Um, I believe I got a size small, but it fits really, really nicely. And then what I did is I just kind of tied as the back of the shirt right here. Um, and don't do what I did. I just wanted to easily tie it by using like a hair tie. But if you have one of those clear little hair rubber bands, you could really kind of do the same thing without it being visible. So that's a little fashion hack right there. But yeah, the model on Nasty Gal also kind of wore it this way and I just really liked the look. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, I think the glasses really bring out like the retro part of this outfit. And then, oh, I'm wearing the shoes, like the little white mules that I mentioned to you guys earlier. And they're really, really cute. Obviously you can wear this outfit in so many different ways. I feel like it would look cute with a hat. I feel like it would look cute with boots as well. This could also be like another concert outfit. But yeah, this is the last and final look. And I had so much fun at making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I hope you guys will give some flare pants a try um, because I don't know, I'm just loving them the more and more and more. Like I go on with this video, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look into more flare jeans and pants and things like that. So let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please be sure to do so before you leave and check out the description box because everything that I showed you in this video will be linked on there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.